Okay, we've got a good one for you this time. There's a conspiracy afoot, and there's Disney, and there's Shang-Chi, and there's Black Widow, and there's Scarlett Johansson, and there's Bob Chapek, and they're all tied together in a little knot. Yeah, a little knot. Oh, golly, Jeezy. You went off the deep end this time. Hmm. Okay, now stick with me on this one because there's a conspiracy afoot and uh, I will have to go slowly to explain this to Noob Noob because he doesn't quite follow things. I'm quite dumb. (laughs) I am quite dumb dumb. Too busy selling myself on the streets for money. Okay, so essentially the conclusion of this story is that Disney wants the Shang-Chi movie to flop. But let's go back to the beginning. And I would like to thank, uh, right here I'll post the video, Midnight's Edge did a really good video on something similar, but I'm gonna take it maybe one step further than they did. What do you, oh yeah? (laughs) Okay, so all of this starts with Disney hating women. Yes, and the the Black Widow hybrid lawsuit. So if you if you go back and when they released Black Widow, um, they released it in a in a hybrid. So they released it in the theaters and they released it at the same time on Disney Plus. Now they did this for a couple other movies such as Cruella, and they also did it for Jungle, uh, the Jungle Cruise, right? So Scarlett Johansson decides that she's going to sue the um, Disney for like basically ripping her off for $60 million, right? Now, the way they handled the the lawsuit is they came out and they they slapped um, Scarlett Johansson around and they said something along the lines of, uh, what did it, when they, when they, when they went back, they were like, oh, she, I can't believe that she ignored like the people and the pandemic that's going on, like she's very selfish. And they basically, yeah, they called a callous disregard. Like they really- They called her a money grubbing hoe. Yes, they, they went scorched earth on Scarlett Johansson. Now Scarlett Johansson is no longer useful to her characters. Dead. Dead. And no longer useful to and the she's MCU. Old. <laughs> and she's well, old. And she was, she's okay. So what's also fascinating is she is represented by Brian Lord, who slammed Disney for shamelessly and falsely accusing Scarlett Johansson of being insensitive about a global whatever, the pandemic, right? So, and, and he also, um, they like they, they disclosed how much she made for the movie, although she had a back-end deal where if it got released in theaters, it would she would make extra money off of it, but she wasn't gonna make anything off of the Disney Plus deal where Bob Iger and Bob Chapek, the CEOs of Disney, would make money off of the, their their bonuses are directly tied to Disney Plus numbers. So the okay? white men are trying to take the money from the women. Yes. Okay. So her powerhouse agent is also one of the, he's the co-chair of talent agency, giant CAA. CAA is one of the largest um, talent representatives in the industry. And they also represent the bulk of Disney talent, like especially in the Marvel universe. So they virtually have kind of an exclusive deal with their character, with those, with those actors and characters, right? So in my estimation, um, so then you have to go back again, not further, but we go back we go up. forward a little bit, nice. right? Yes. <laughs> back it up. So, so here we've got these, these, you know, this lawsuit. Well, then you heard that Emma Stone and um, John Krasinski's wife, Emily, Emily Blunt, Blunt, were going to potentially sue Disney for the same reasons, right? More Ma- white women. Magically, uh, Cruella 2 got announced, Cruella Bomb, didn't make any money, didn't make any money on the streaming service, but magically she got herself a sequel, right? So they bought her off, and then Emily Blunt also got her contract ne- renegotiated on the back end. So now Disney releases a statement that says here, 
We've figured out ways to fairly compensate our talent since COVID has begun. We have entered into hundreds of talent arrangements with our talent and by and large have gone very, very smoothly. So they went back and fixed everybody else's contracts except for Scarlett Johansson's. Now, there's an interesting wrinkle to the Shang-Chi thing. So they are projected, Shang-Chi is not going to be released in China. It's, and it's, um, they're, they're not going to release it on Disney Plus. It's only going to be in theaters. For 45 days. For 45 days. And the CEO said, oh, this is an interesting experiment. Now on an unrelated note, the Shang-Chi star, uh, Siu Lin, Liu, he slammed the CEO by saying that it's not an experiment. It's actually much more important than that. He goes, we are not an experiment. We are the underdog, the underestimated. We are the ceiling breakers. We are the celebration of culture and joy that will persevere after an embattled year. We are the surprise. Man, I'm fired like bitch. the F up to make history on September 3rd. Join us. So basically Kevin Feige came back out later and was like, bro, tamp it down a little bit. You're confused. He's not talking about your movie being an experiment. He's talking about the release of of your movie being an experiment. So Kevin Feige basically told Bail. this Chinese man that he doesn't understand English. <laughs> but he also told, and he was defending his new CEO, his master. Oh my lord, there's masters involved? Yeah, Kevin Feige it reports directly to Bob oh, Chapek. Oh dear. Okay, so there's, if this lawsuit, this, this Disney lawsuit is actually, um, the lawsuit's bigger than just Scarlett Johansson, and it could actually shape the future of how talent is compensated. Disney does not want to lose this lawsuit. And they're sacrificing Shang-Chi? Yes, they're sacrificing Shang-Chi. So if Shang-Chi bombs, they have proof that it wasn't their fault, that the movie didn't make money, and that the only choice they had, in fact, they earned more money and got her more exposure and potentially more money, by releasing it on streaming in addition to it. So they're going to sacrifice Shang-Chi. That was going to so, suck anyway. Yeah, so then that way they were going to make sure that they could have a shot at winning this lawsuit, right? And, you know, they're saying a rich... Right here, it says a rich deprived... A rich actress deprived of millions is not the typical poster child for a labor dispute. <laughs> um, so what they're saying now is that if they can go back, they could potentially blackball they've already talked about it that they're potentially blackballing scarlett johansson from working with Disney. oh yeah she done and then in addition to that her agent may be disgraced by this because brian lord went hard back at disney they could force caa to force him to resign and then crush the talent agency and get rid of this guy who was speaking out against them it's all about Disney destroying everyone and owning everyone and making Disney sure wants they get control more money. Disney of all the white women. Everything. Mainly white women. Whew. Does so that mean that's... they're gonna come after us because we're exposing them? Uh we don't work for them, so what do we care? I, I do a Mickey impression, guys, and I'm not Jewish, so love me. What? D Disney hates Jews, right? I don't believe it. Doesn't that's Walt true. Disney super hate Jews? No. Never heard that. I'm pretty sure, like, if he could you kill... No, nope, I don't think nope. so. Loves him. Wow. You you heard he loves him? I... Can we confirm no, that? No, I can't. I will not talk to you anymore <laughs> if you don't shut up. <laughs> Stupid jackass. <laughs> oh, my God. So, that is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, so, like I said, they found ways to compensate talent, except for they didn't compensate Scarlett Johansson. So like I said, this is all just posturing so they can destroy this potential lawsuit that was going to mess them up. So in summation, in Scarlett summation. Johansson wanted more money. Disney was like, no, you fat old white bitch. Oh my God, no. We're going to tank Shang-Chi so you lose your lawsuit, get blackballed from us, hopefully become poor, get pregnant, remain she's fat. She's already had kids. No, she's Get not more fat. pregnant. Nope. Remain more fat. No. And then start a show called 87 Pounds Heavier Than Me. What? I don't know. What? Well, you're just rambling. She idiot. just keeps eating. No, she does not. And uh, anyway, I want to point out that who I think is truly to blame for this is Pepe Silvia. 
but perhaps we have to ask Carol in HR, which you don't understand I, any of those I things. I hope we don't have an HR department. I'd be fired. Oh, yeah, that's right. You would be fired. I would be. Well, I hope that if you watched to the end of this video, it gave you the opportunity to think, gee, these guys deserve a subscribe. We realize that 50% of our videos are not uh, are viewed by people who are not subscribed, and we would love to grow our channel so we can continue to produce excellent content from a rambling idiot exactly. to you. We will earn it either with our videos or my mouth. It doesn't matter which. Either way. You know, preferably my mouth, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get to your mouth? Uh, I, yes. Oh boy. All the subscribers can go into my mouth at once. <laughs> like a, <laughs> That's for your We'll have our subscriber friends. Saturdays. Oh geez. Do a well, slip, slip and slide. Anyway, if, uh, if you don't want to subscribe, you could at least give us a like. And uh, we do appreciate that. No, we want both. We want the subscribe and the like. Okay, How about that? Well, we yeah. want both. Oh, he's demanding now. I'm demanding. I mean, to get those goods, you got to demand. Smash that like button. Like I'm smashing back those Kool-Aid pouches with diabetes in it. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup. Fucking love it. It's your buddy. God. Anyway, uh, that's all for us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You. And we'll catch you on the following one because we're on to the next one.